वेलकम बैक टू एस के मोनिकस एंड वी आर बैक विद सम सोर्ट ऑफ न्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मैथमेटिक्स एंड टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज अगेन अ डिमांडेड फ्रॉम माई कॉमेंट सेक्शन ऑन यूट्यूब ओवर सम वीडियो एंड दैट इज बाई राहुल नॉलेज भाई सो वी आर इज गोइंग टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन एंड दैट इज टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ अंडर रूट ओवर एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर प्लस वन इफ the values of x square and y square are 17 x plus y and 17 y plus x respectively yahan pe question mein hame ye value find karni hai jahan pe ye dono given values given hai so the question is not as simple as it seems at first hum log pehle to soch sakte hain that we have to only just substitute the values ke x square ki values mein rakhenge y square ki rakhenge dono ko one se add karu and you can just get so you cannot try it that way first of all and there are some reasons over that kyunki agar aap aisa karte ho so again answer you will be getting here in terms of x and y aur fir aap x and y ki values to aapke paas hai hi nahi ki aap under root karoge and hamara final answer wahi pe stuck ho jayega so it cannot reveal a final answer to hum log kya karne wale hain is first of all in the question try that x square 17x plus y is even equation first and y square equals 17 y plus x is my equation number second what if i subtract both the equations subtracting equation first sorry second from first that means that equation 1 minus equation 2 that will give that x square minus y square is 17 x plus y minus 17 y minus x so if this is my a uh, kind of you can say that 17 x minus 17 y is and zero is uh, this is x and this is y so you can try it this way that 17 x minus x is 16 x and y minus 17 y is negative of 16 y now here if i try it this is my 16 as a common x minus y x square minus y square we need to remember it that x square minus y square is 16 as a common x minus y now we know that x square minus y is what actually actually x square minus y square is x plus y into x minus y If you try it for a square minus b square, so that is a plus b into a minus b. So comparing the equations, we can just look that x square minus y square you can write in the form of a x plus y into x minus y because x plus y into x minus y and x square minus y square are equivalent, are equal, both have the same values. So you can put it at the place. Equal sixteen x minus y. Where dividing both sides of the equation by x minus y and x minus y, the two given numerical values cancel each other, and we get at x plus y equals sixteen. But this is not what we actually wanted. We wanted the under root of x square plus y square plus one. So that can happen if we just know x square plus y square. So we can add it to one, and then we can find out the under root. So why should we go through all those kinds of mathematical steps? So there can be reasons behind that. There can be re or multiple reasons behind that because if we now know x plus y, we can proceed further. This was my equation first and this second. First of all, I subtracted the two equations. Now what I'm going to do is to add the two equations and get expression for x square plus y square. Okay, that is what we demand for, and that is 17x plus y, and this is plus 17y plus x. 17x plus x is 18x plus 17y plus y is 18y. Now here I can just take something like 18 as a common x plus y, and we are again stuck here because we do not know the value of x plus y until we go through those mathematical steps. So here we got to know actually the value of x plus y because if we wouldn't subtract the two equations, we wouldn't get the value of x plus y, and we wouldn't be able to find out the x square plus y square. But once we have done this, we get x plus y. And as we know, the x plus y will put in this equation, and this gives me as 18 multiplied by 
and this is 18 multiplied by 16 that is x square plus y square so you can just also try it multiply or you can try associative learn this that i uh, just feel quite simpler so this is 18 into 10 plus 6 and just whichever mathematical uh, calculations are too long especially of multiplication i break the second number in terms of 10 and then try by using the rules of math so this gives me some simple uh, kind of steps and this is 18 6 just 6 8 just 48 and 4 carries so, and here's 108 so this will be getting something like 288 here's 8 here's 8 and here's 1 and 1 that is 2 so x square plus y square equals 288 implying that root over x square plus y square plus 1 equals root over 288 plus 1 that is root over 289 what is the squared root of 289 that seems like something like 17 17 because is the square of uh, sorry the 289 is the square of 17 that's why the square root of 289 is 17 so this gives me my final answer that root over x square plus y square here is root over x square plus y square plus 1 is 17 and this is my revealing my final answer since the question what we had to do is first of all try subtracting the equations then adding the equations then comparing and trying to solve the equations and the question can be solved and i really found this question a lot kind of interesting this was really very beautiful and interesting question hope you always like uh, like the today's video and hope you always enjoyed the video and thanks to you always for watching this video and jai hind jai bharat